What's up guys, Scarly here from Blue Cooker Family and welcome back to another City Skylines tutorial. So today we're going to be continuing our look at the uh, water and sewage systems. This time we're going to be looking at the sewage system. So like last time when we looked for water, this is our starter city. We can see right in front of us we've got our residential area and over to the left we've got our industry area. We've just built our water system, we have just placed our water inlet pipe upstream and you'll remember if you watch that video if not go back and watch it now you remember why we placed our water in pipe upstream and that's because we have to have somewhere where we can have um, our sewage outflow and naturally if we have that higher then that means that um, our water inlet will be sucking in raw sewage which is a really bad thing so that means we can place our water sewage lower but there are a couple of more options which I wanted to cover. So if we come into the water and sewage, now bear in mind this is the starter game, we have access to three options. We have the water drain pipe, which is the one you get in the starter game with no DLCs attached. This literally pumps raw sewage out of your system directly into a water source. It cleans up over a very long time. Don't worry about it. The other thing you need to consider, and you have, is this water inland water treatment plant and also the eco inland water treatment plants. I believe these were both part of the Sunset Harbour DLC. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section below. These are the two options you have. Now these do not pump your sewage into the water source, but what they do is they potentially pollute your groundwater or your or your ground um your ground pollution basically gets worse essentially. Um, but if you don't mind that, and if you are landlocked, maybe if you've got uh, no option, but you've got ocean, for example, as your water in there, and there is no proper flow there, so you can't control where your water is draining, then this may be your only option. But you can place those down, and they, just like any other building, they connect to a roadside, and they then connect in, like so, and then you connect them up with a small little connector blob, like so. And it works exactly the same for the um, outflow pipe, except for this doesn't go on a road. You can see that it quickly snaps to the side of a water source and we can place it there, for example, and then we connect it up to our grid, just like so. And you'll see that this literally just spits sewage directly into the water. Uh, there. This does, on the other hand, have to be connected to our power source which we'll do just like that. Now even though you can't see at the moment, you can start seeing a little bit, you can start to see a little bit of colour contamination just going in there. And if we go to this pollution map, you can just see a small little smidge going here. And if we turn this off, there we go, forcing all of our sewage to come out of this pipe, we're going to very quickly see this pollution is going to come, well, it's going to get big. Is it going to happen? Here we go. Come on. Anytime now. Anytime. <laughs> of course, it always shows you off whenever you want it to. And it's possible I have turned this on off, so this is not doing any capacity. Here we go. Here we go. It is now outputting. So if we go to pollution map, even though it's something it hasn't quite gone there yet. This is going to slowly build up over time, and the more and more um, buildings and bigger your city gets, the worse of the problem this gets. Now, with a map like this, where it's a one continuous river, it's not really your problem. There is no ocean that way. Um, and so therefore, technically, you could just let this pollute the river, and it's not going to have any problem or any negative impact on your life at all. But of course, Many people don't want to do that option because it's just not that something you want to do. So that's why, you, and also if you do have a, a map where it drains out to an ocean, as soon as that pollution hits the ocean, it's just going to stand still and just going to sit there. And it just is a brown muck that just sits in the water and looks horrible. So it's something to consider, potentially an option. But in later game, there are options such as the eco outlet, the eco water treatment plant that do heavily reduce 
the amount of pollution they put out, um, which is considerable. And of course, you do have the water treatment plants, which only put it into ground pollution. So things to consider. And I think that's all been very useful. So I want to hear, what do you do? What, do, what are your options? Do you put sewage directly into your river? Do you use the treatment plants? I want to know what you guys do. It's always fascinating to know how people play this game because it's very different for everyone. So with that being said, if this has been useful to, for you at all, hit the like button. And uh, while my city burns in the background because uh, I'm yet to put any form of services down and that is terrible. But that's a, that's a problem for another video. But yeah, if it's been useful, hit the like and subscribe button. I've been Scully from a Blue Coconut family. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Bye.